Glenn Vickery, welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival and today we're going to do the um, Dancho uh, outdoor titanium wood stove setup okay now the first thing that you have to do that I would suggest is that you do your chimney now I've already done my chimney I'll just grab it here okay so I've already done my chimney by rolling it up, okay, and uh, basically the instructions say that you should use two people, and I would advise that you do use two people. Um, I did it by myself, just because I wanted to test it to see how it goes by myself, and it is quite difficult. A um, couple of learning lessons that I learned from it. Um, uh, first thing you have to do is you have to take away the memory so you got to unroll it and roll it back the other way and I'll, I'll I'll do a quick clip of that me doing that so you can see what I mean and then the second thing is um, some people say to use I think it's called a doodle um, it's uh, a, a, like a floaty right a long uh, floaty you'll see me using that when I'm doing uh, changing the memory on the uh, titanium chimney um, some people say to use that and I tried that and um, it kind of works but it's very tight it's a very tight fit and um, once you once you start getting going uh, even when it comes to taking the dongle out uh, that that sponge floaty sponge thing um, you, it's very hard to get it out you can't get the sponge out you gotta you gotta basically remove the rings to take the pressure off it to pull it out so I wouldn't advise that I would simply advise as per the instructions use two people roll it up and put the rings on together that would be the fastest most easiest and simplest way um, anyway so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to uh, piece all this together um, uh, with the camera on so uh, so you can see the full setup, and then I'm going to get in a first burn. Okay, um, I think that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here, bring in the um, where, I, where I'm changing the memory on the the chimney, and then I'll bring you back, and we'll carry on with the the setup outside. Uh, there was one other thing I'm just okay. trying to think. So of um, what I was going to say is that uh, this is the uh, thing that I was talking about for helping to use it, roll it up. Uh, I would use this definitely for uh, taking the memory, changing the memory uh, when you first go to roll out the um, the chimney, okay? Um, and then after that, I probably wouldn't use it. I'd probably chuck it away, all right? Um, so, uh, well, you may want to use it to start using it to roll it up uh, the chimney lengthwise. Um, when you um, are with another person um, but you want to pull it out as soon as you can you don't want to start rolling up and putting rings on it that's when you're going to have an issue uh, so the other thing is um, when you set this up uh, you want to try and set it up on a day that's not too windy okay or, or no wind at all preferably and um, also you want to have some kind of water source just for safety reasons um, you know makes makes perfect sense um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to have um, some cordage, okay? Now I'm going to be using, uh, at this stage I'm going to be trying out 5 meters, um, 3 lengths of 5 meter cord, um, and that's going to be to hold the uh, chimney in place, okay? Uh, attaching the the cordage to the um, to the uh, spark arrestor, okay, because you're going to need something to keep that chimney uh, in place, okay, so the whole thing doesn't fall over, all right. And the other thing you're going to need um, is some pegs, okay, all right. So um, I've got about nine pegs here. You're not going to need that many, all right. Um, and uh, that's basically three pegs to hold, keep the chimney um, in line, keep it uh, secure. And if you wanted to, 
use another four pegs I'm not sure if these are going to be uh, too big but use four pegs to hold the stove in place okay and uh, I'll try and remember to zoom in on that when I put these in uh, in the legs I think the legs should have some holes I can't remember I didn't check it uh, during the unboxing um, but uh, the, if it does that would be great and if it doesn't we'll just uh, modify it to um, uh, cater for the uh, pegs to hold the stove in place as well and that's just again for wind dogs I've got, I've got three dogs on the property so you may see them running around um, and when you're doing all this safety again make sure you're monitoring it don't just leave the the stove unattended and uh, burning so bring some music out a couple of drinks whatever and um, do it on a nice day preferably where you can just enjoy it okay so anyway no further ado let's get into it uh, I'm going to bring the camera down uh, first I'm going to pause it so that you guys can see the other um, the uh, doing the memory for the uh, chimney and uh, then we'll get get into this side of it all right let's get into this okay so you're supposed to um, have two people when you do this but um, I'm going to attempt to do it by myself um, first and foremost um, and I've got one of these little tube things whatever that people use for swimming kids use for swimming and whatnot um, and hopefully uh, that might help me now these gloves that I've got on uh, I'm not 100% sure whether they are um, cut proof uh, gloves or just you know standard gloves but I'd advise using them because uh, this titanium sheeting can be very sharp now the key with this is that these here uh, titanium it's very uh, thin and it can bend very easily so the key here is if you want your chimney to look nice and um, without all these bends and dents in it uh, you really want to look after it and um, do the best you can to try and um, uh, fold this up nicely um, and look after your chimney uh, don't go banging it and everything else so we want to take off our eight rings set those to the side I'm not quite sure which side I'll set them to the left for now All right. it's the first time for me so um, we'll see how we go so the next thing we want to do is we want to roll this out okay remember this is a uh, 2.2 meters uh, long um, now uh, what we want to do is you'll see that it, it, it takes memory okay so it's, it's wanting to roll back to how it was so the first thing we want to do is we want to change the memory of it so we want to flick it over and we want to roll it the other way if that makes sense all right so what i'm going to do because i don't want creases in mine if i can help it so take your your tube and roll it the other way okay this is all in shot okay so what this will effectively do is it will change the memory of the uh, titanium sheet okay that's going to be our chimney and um, now we can let it go all right and that should roll out Thank <laughs> you. 
That was my big boy Zilla. He's my he's my main dog. He's my main boy. Alright, so we take the uh, lid off. Face it this way. Bring the front up. Bring the back up. We can close the door now if we like. No problem. Bring the side door up. Make sure you want to put the clips on uh, properly. This is uh, Siska. He's the uh, puppy on the property. Okay, I don't have a floor in it yet, okay? Um, that's something I'm considering putting in there as a floor. Uh, but today I'm just going to burn it as is. Do the first burn as is. And I have an idea, but I, I should have really brought my idea out. But I might show that in another video. Okay, so that's all on there. Okay, now, uh, pegs. Alright, so it does have the um, uh, holes for the pegs, uh, but mine doesn't fit in, okay? So mine's too big, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some pegs down here. There's one there. I don't think I need to do four. And another one on the other side. Just to hold it in place. Just for safety reasons. Next thing we're going to do is put the dampener on. I showed you how to do that in the uh, setup, uh, the unboxing video. Right, turn, twist that clockwise direction. We'll keep this just on in here for now. I'm going to just quickly whip out a frame and grab the uh, um, actually no. What I'm going to do is the cords I've got three five meter no, thank you, Sir Scott. No. Cords. Okay, five meters. And what I've done, I've just put a, a loop at each end. A loop at each end. Okay, and what I'm going to do, Siska, no, he wants to bite my uh, cord. With the, uh, the tie downs here, just slip it through. Okay, slip it through the tie down and then feed the cord back through on itself. Right. I don't know if you can see see that I'm standing on the cord. Just feed it through on itself. Okay, like so. Some people call it a, a lark's head, all right, I've always called it a goose foot, but yeah, I think most people call it a lark's head, just onto that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, two of those, <coughs> grab the other cordage. Do the other one. Again, slip it through on itself and just simply pull the rest of the line through. Okay, so we've got two now. 
all right two okay and what I'm going to do is off camera I'm going to go and cut the other piece um, in fact I'll, I'll, I'll do it on I'll do the first part on camera how about that okay so what you want to do is uh, is you, you get one I go like one record okay one two bit tangled up here ah might have to start again I always, I always burn the ends, got a little bit of wind today, not much. go to the other end we'll do a little bit of a loop here okay. normally I wouldn't be doing this type of thing with gloves on What I like when I do do this, I like the um, so I just do an overhand knot like so. All right, just an overhand knot, nothing major, doesn't have to be anything major. And then I normally have around about three three fingers, okay, at least three fingers be able to fit through there comfortably is uh, ample. Okay, and that's all we need to do. Then we'll fit this one on. All right, slide it through. Get the loose end. Pull the loose end through. Okay, so I'm working on five meters. Hopefully that's going to be uh, long enough to um, be able to tie it down. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to attach this spark arrester to the top of the chimney. So I'm going to go and grab that. Alright. So now we want to hook this up. And the whole time you're doing this, you want to try not to be causing anything that's going to dent, put dents in your, um, put dents in, in, in your chimney, okay? So there we go, that, that's on. And it's got a couple of little seat things here where it sits on the top, so it doesn't go all the way down, okay? It'll just go down and it won't go any further. And next thing we want to do is we want to put this onto over the outside of our um, dampener okay so let's just put let's just 
just put this on uh, first. Okay, I just want to loosen that off as well, as far as we can. Alright, bring this up. I mean by on properly we want the the how can I say um, the line of the chimney okay that should be good there Okay, so that doesn't have to be too tight. And I don't want to do anything too tight just yet. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do. Okay, you'll notice it's not very stable. And that's because it's not up through uh, normally a uh, hot tent or something like that would be holding it about, you know, whatever height around where my hand is. And that would give it um, a little bit more stability. Um, but currently, we don't have that, so this is where the tie downs come in, okay, and we're going to have to tie it down. So, we need three pegs for this. It's two. Now when you do this, it doesn't have to be tight. Okay? It doesn't have to be really tight. In fact, you don't want it to be really tight. You just want it to be um, where the wind's not going to blow it over. Okay? So, that's firm now.
Okay, so that's quite firm now. That's not going to go anywhere. All right, so there she, there's the chimney. All right, there's the uh, stove. Okay, and I can zoom it around to where you can see, uh, you know, there's one of the uh, pegs there. Okay, and uh, the other peg is down there. Okay, so I've just, just tied it to the peg, nothing major. All right. And of course, the um, third one is, uh, where are we? Uh, it's among, amongst all that uh, cordage there. All right. But um, there she is. Okay, now, as far as the pegs are concerned, you can see I've got a peg there. Alright, because my pegs didn't quite fit through the um, the hole uh, in the legs. Alright, and there's another one. You can just see it at the back uh, there, sticking through as well. Alright. Okay. Let's, um, let's get this fire going. Now that she's all set up, oh, and of course... We have the um, the locking device there that's um, holding the chimney down, and you can see the chimney is clearly over the top, all right, of the dampener, all right, and of course that screw there is not in the way of the actual dampening um, control, the triangle dampening control, okay. All right, so now when we when we fire it up, when we do our first burn. We're going to want this triangle facing straight up and down. Alright. So we want to want that triangle facing straight up and down because that's going to allow the air to go straight up the chimney. Okay. And when you turn it to the, to the left or to the right, so it's in a horizontal position, uh, when it's in a horizontal position, it'll be completely um, dampening down the... Uh, the fire uh, as much as it possibly can. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I think we'll bring this camera around to the side a bit. Now I'm not going to be doing any any uh, bushcrafty stuff as far as the fire goes. Um, I'm just going to get it in there and get it basically going. So, um, let's do that now. Uh. Oh, gonna take this out. Had a bit of polystyrene or polythene, whatever you want to call it, in there. Right, I've just got some uh, cardboard here from this is cardboard that the dogs were chewing up. Ah, this is actually the box that this actually came in, so I thought I might as well make the most of it and utilize it um, for the burn. All right. <laughs> You notice I've still got my um, knee gloves on because I don't want to be making any fingerprint marks <clears throat> on the titanium. I haven't uh, I haven't wiped it down, um, so I'm hoping that when it's come from the the factory or wherever it was where it was made 
that people haven't put their hands over it, but we'll soon find out. And uh, when I've seen other people do their burns, um, and I've seen fingerprints on it, I think it's those, those were fingerprints from the actual people themselves touching the titanium with their bare hands. It's not the smallest of uh, kindling that I've got here, but uh, man, I'm just chucking it in. <laughs> Go for it. I got any more um, all right let me turn this camera so I can kind of see what we're doing to make sure we're in shot there okay it's somewhat in shot okay Little tip secret, well not a secret but little tip, if you're going to use cardboard try and use the thinnest layers of cardboard that you can. Excuse me Siska, come on excuse me, good boy, good boy. You want to, you want to be famous do you? Hey, you want to be famous. Ah, you're a very inquisitive dog, eh? Yeah, you're very This cardboard pretty much acts like a, a softwood, a real, real, real softwood. All right, let's see how that goes. Okay. All right. The moment of truth. Okay, so what I've done is I've got the dampener open right at the back. Now let me pull you back a bit. Okay, so I've got the dampener open right at the back. Okay, as I said earlier. Right, and I've got the vent, the front vent here. Um, open right up as well okay because what we want effectively want want to do this is open see okay um, can close it close it open it okay so I want it open right up because we want we want the fire to suck in as much oxygen as possible and um, so it can breathe really breathe and and really burn hot okay um, and of course we want the dampener, we don't want to dampen the fire down, we want it fully, uh, the exhaust going straight up, okay, up the chimney. So uh, we want that fully open so it's completely vertical uh, at the moment and fully open. Alright, so that's where we're at at the moment. And of course, um, as you want, um, as you want... The, die, the, the fire to die down or, 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 or slow down and not be so hot, you'd, you'd, you'd not give it as much oxygen. 
and you turn the dampener down. That that's how you control the um, the wood stove. All right. So, oh, Siska's finding out that it, that this is hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it with um, uh, thing wood as we go. All right, so that's about there. That's about there. So that's that's the amount the kind of wood that we're after. Is about one, two, three, four, five, six. About six. So I've got my um, X marked. So what I should do is do a double mark there at some point to show that I don't want wood to go any further than that to be able to fit into the. Um, into the uh, the wood stove better. doesn't want to quite go in. Put that there. So I haven't started with a lot of kindling um, uh, with this. I've just, just grabbed some wood from out the back of the house here that I'm just using. Um, but she's going in there. She's got to be able to take off a bit. Alright, so um, what we'll do is uh, we'll leave it there for now. Um, I'll keep an eye on it until she's um, blazing and then I'll come back and um, fire it on there so you can see how she's going. Um, and, uh, and we'll go from there. But I'll zoom it in for you. You can see the um, just on the side window there, um, it's uh, blacking up, blacking up a little bit. Um, but that fire won't take long, too long to kick off. Uh, and uh, from the top, I'll show you this, the smoke coming out. Yeah, here's the smoke. Smoke coming out, the dampener. Oh, sorry, not the dampener, the um, spark arrester. Get a good clean shot of that. See if we are close we can get in there. So you can see how well that's working. She's a nice spark arrester. Very happy. Okay, and you can see the the, the tie downs is two on the side and one on the other that are holding it in place highly advise that you do this um, I mean it doesn't take long 
to uh, you know tie it down um, uh, safety wise it, it doesn't hurt but but the key is not to tie it down tight you need to give it room to move around okay anyway uh, we'll uh, we'll leave her at that for now and I'll, I'll I'll pause 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 it um, and I'll bring you back and uh, while, while we're doing that I'm gonna get some other bits of firewood ready um, cut some other bits of firewood up for it and uh, listen to a little bit of music and uh, just let it burn um, I might set my time watch, uh, stopwatch as well I think probably not a bad idea all right so the stopwatch is on and um, I hope you're enjoying uh, the fire all right just sort of bring you back it's uh just gone after the uh 10 minute mark just going on 11 minutes now since i um started my stopwatch and uh you can see the uh the uh flames are really um being drawn up towards that uh chimney okay because the the um i should I, i've been using the wrong word i think i was just about to say it the flu right the flu is fully open not the dampener i don't know okay my um my phone my uh camcorder kind of died on me so i'm doing this on my phone now so hopefully it comes up okay we're at the one hour one and a half hour mark so there she is there the um she's wide open So that would be, I assume the dampener, <laughs> okay, is wide open, all right. And she's a blazing. You can see the flames heading from the front, going up to the back, going straight up the um, the uh, chimney. And the flue is still wide open, okay. Um, there's different colours on the on the back all right from the heating um, same as on the top there you can see plenty of uh, heat uh, has come through there the purple colors all right uh, not so much on this side sort of down the bottom where there's like the the heat comes through all right you can see it coming through there and uh, also on the chimney down more to the low part of the chimney it's uh, going well okay more on the chimney there all right uh, the the um, thing that the, the, the piece here this piece here uh, that the ring that holds the chimney on I'm probably going next time I'm going to move it so it's like up along this side kind of more out of the way coming up the chimney you can still see changings of color all right, and right at the top of the chimney, uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Try and zoom in, you can see it's darkening up there as well. So it does get a bit of heat, uh, which is pretty cool because that's kind of looking for a uh, another um, project that I might be looking at, knowing that the heat is still fairly, fairly good up there. The tie downs, okay. As we come down the tie down, I'll give you a closer look at the tie down. Okay, so there's the tie down there with the peg and the grass. All right, pretty simple. And we've got uh, three of those tie downs. Another one there. I haven't pushed the pegs. I haven't pushed the pegs like... Um, right into the ground or anything but um you know just wrap them around and did a quick slip knot on them just to you know um so they would so that'd be uh you know give some sort of security uh safety um with the fire because i have had the dogs these uh zilla i've had the dogs running around and uh siska there it's uh Zilla's the dad, and Siska's uh, the son, right? And the uh, the female 
the females around here is the mother named Nala. But um, yeah, no, she's going really, really well. But the um, getting back to the safety, the the dogs were running around and um, they banged into the cords, right? One of the tie downs, right? I think it was that one over there. Let's tie down here. So had still had the other tie downs there, but you know they're running around. They could have hit, banged into the, um, you know, the wood stove, um, and that would have been uh, not a good thing. Okay. Um, of course, I've got the other <coughs> uh, peg down there at the back, and I have another peg just down there all right at the front um now it does have as i was saying earlier they do have peg holes all right there's a peg hole right there okay and another one right there and there's another it's the same on the front of the um the wood burner wood stove as well um but as I said earlier, my um, pegs were a little bit uh, too big, just slightly. So I, I, I could get some smaller pegs, and they don't need to be anything major. And I do have some smaller pegs, so um, I will get four pegs, and I'll peg that into the ground. And uh, it's not a bad idea, you know. I mean, those it's got those holes there for a reason, um, to make the stove uh more stable you know uh, for safety reasons um just so that if you were to bump it or you know you take your dog out and the dog's playing around or whatever and bumps it or whatever it may be you don't want it falling um over and uh, becoming a hazard uh, also the other thing with pegging it out is because I have one of the roll-out um, chimneys, uh, they're very easy to bend, okay, and dent. So uh, it's really important to take care of them and protect them so that they're not going to be damaged, okay. So when they're up like this, it, it, it's paramount that um, they're protected uh, from being damaged. All right. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now, and uh, we might come back um, soon and uh, have another look at it, see how it's going. I've got a couple of uh, large logs there, all right, one there, and another two over there, and um, I've been trying to fit them in, and I could almost fit that one there in, that, that's in the shot now, almost fit it in, but it had like about, I don't know, <laughs> half a centimetre uh, just poking out and it just wouldn't wouldn't allow me to close the door so I didn't want to force anything so I thought I'll let it like burn down a bit more what you want to do is get 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 a good base of coals or a good bed of coals and then start chucking on these big ones um, and um, it should burn for a good I don't know, I don't know uh, at full bore you know with the damp dampener open and the and the flue right open, I don't know, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I might time it and see how it goes when, if I can fit one in. All right, um, we'll, we'll leave it there for now and we'll uh, come back shortly. Okay, so I've just chucked in a big log. All right, just there, you can just see. All right. And uh, what I've been doing is I've been pushing a lot of the wood all the way to the back. Um, of the uh, <coughs> of the of the stove, all right. And what I'm going to show you is a little something here, a little tip that I do. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but on the front here, I have what's called a bellow, okay, and it stretches out. I don't know if I'm in shot because I haven't flicked the camera around. All right, so I'm extending the bellow out now. And really all it is, is a tube that you can blow through. All right, and watch this.
Look at that. Look at that. Great thing is, look at that now. Doesn't take much. Yep, I've got one of the dogs trying to look me in the face. The puppy. All right. The old bellow is great because you can close the close the door and do this. And if it starts a thing, you don't have to open the door up so much. You just use the bellow, point it straight through and let rip. Just thought I'd show you that. So now what I'm going to do, because i got it on uh, full bore, all right, dampness wide open, um, I'm going to time it to see how long that takes to burn that down. It is starting to get dark, well, kind of, here around here, all right, and um, just to get an idea of how long that log will burn uh, down on full bore. I'll catch you short. I couldn't help myself. I had to get a photo of this. Well, a bit of video of this with me. My boy Zilla, he's found himself the perfect spot. Alright. Doesn't take much to know what a good thing is. And it surely is. Hey Zilla. Zilla, you liking that, eh? You like that, eh, boy? All right. Here's an update. We're at about two hours and 40 minutes uh, burn time, uh, which is basically more than enough. However, um, the problem was, I say this big log's been burning, burning now for about an hour. Although it did slow down, I wasn't able to keep it at full um, capacity. Um, so, and it's about probably half burnt, half to three quarters, well, half to, uh, close to half burnt. Okay. Um, and the reason why I wasn't able to keep, keep the fire going at full capacity is because my dogs ended up play fighting when it was dark banging into one of my tie down cords okay and knocking the whole chimney over all right yep bent the whole thing so uh, i've spent the last 45 minutes um fixing it uh, as best I can so it's fixed luckily the titanium is very strong uh, it didn't put any holes in it that I'm aware of um, so what I did was I um, I I took the chimney off um, this is this is after I chased the dogs around the section <laughs> um, I took the chimney off and I unrolled it okay and I rolled it up uh, in one direction as if I was uh, packing up and then I unraveled it and I rolled it back the other from the other end rolling it up as if I was packing up um, and then what I did was I had to get the the hammer pole on my axe and tap it out tap tap out any of the the creases um, that were um, any of the creases that were um, that had happened during the uh, its fall um, and uh, that that for the most part has fixed it okay so um, it's rolled back up now again as a chimney um, and to tell you the truth you really wouldn't know Obviously, you'll see the, where, the, where the damage is. I'll show you. Um, but it, 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 it hasn't changed the performance of the actual chimney. And what I've effectively done, because the damage was done down near the bottom of um, the chimney. I'll, I'll, I'll turn my light torch on. So when it bent, it bent about 
as you would assume, guess, around this area, okay, um, and fell down and hit the ground. Um, so what I've done is I've put the damaged area at the top, okay, so as we go scroll up here, um, there's the damage, okay, so you can see the damage starting about here and up, mostly up the top, all right. So I've basically um, put it up the top, the damaged area. If we go around the um, fire to the uh, the stove to the other side, all right, you can see. Uh, where are we? More damage there. So the damage went right round it, um, but again I put it up the top. So. All right, the, and when I've put it back, I, I, I've put this um, locking ring this way, so it's out of the way, it looks much tidier and out of the way. So it's still performing as it should do, um, but I put the, put, put the damage part up the top to uh, mitigate uh, the integrity at this bottom bottom level here so it's still strong so it, so it doesn't hurt it in any way however what did I what do I take away from this uh, having the tie downs yeah absolutely uh, paramount and important for safety reasons when you're doing this but don't have dogs running around or um, I don't have kids running around, but don't have kids running around. Um, and maybe even don't have anyone else else around you unless you absolutely trust them that they're not going to trip over the tie-downs, okay? Now, I've got green. I ha haven't got... They're not fluorescent coloured and um, bright colours and things like that because my stuff's more along the line of uh, tactical, all right? So... Um, yeah, it, it is what it is, okay, so my advice to anybody would be, sure, absolutely set this up with your tie-downs to make sure that it's all safe, um, you know, especially the wind could come up, um, or anything else, but don't trip over them, don't have dogs around them, don't have kids around, and maybe don't even have anybody else around that you're not sure that they may uh, damage it in some way by tripping over it, right, drunk, whatever, okay, uh, or just not concentrating, because after all, it is, it is, um, it is your uh, equipment that you're trying to take care of, I spent a lot of time uh, going, uh, I spent a lot of time, hours today, prepping all this to prevent doing damage to my chimney, and lo and behold, you know, at the um, one hour 45 mark, the dogs go and do the damage. So um, it is what it is. Uh, thankfully, but uh, uh, the, the good thing is that I've learned that, um, look, you can, just, you can just beat it back into um, place, all right? The, the, the titanium is that strong. It didn't, it didn't make a hole in it when it dented. And I was just able to beat it back out um, into its uh, correct, for, you know, um, form for the chimney and uh, back into business. So that's that's good to know, just how strong it is. So it looks flimsy, but it's very very strong. So uh, I, I, I take that away as well. So a few learning lessons there, um, and hopefully by sharing. Uh, the accidents that happen with others, um, we can we can all we can all take something away from it and learn from it. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm, once this log burns down, that's going to be my burn. Um, I think it'll be close to the uh, three hour, three hour, three hours, three hours forty five, three and a half hour mark, give or take, um, and then I'll let it cool down and um, pack it away in the dark 
which uh, I wouldn't advise, but you know, um, hey, can be done, all right. Um, and so I'm going to go and get myself a um, hot latte, and um, I've done some more firewood there, all right. Um, but I'm not going to be using it. I've just got those chopped up pieces there, uh, just in case I need to. Um, get that fire uh, the flames going but of course I have my bellow that I showed you earlier uh, absolutely fantastic having the bellow um, can poke through the uh, front vent right um, just brilliant and of course if it's if you can't get to things through the front vent you can then open the, open up the door and uh, get right to the back with your bellow no problem at all um, brilliant Anyway, uh, I'll leave it there, and um, I'm not sure if I'll be coming back uh, during the, 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 the pulling everything down. I don't think that's necessary. You just go uh, backwards uh, from the way that uh, you set it up, um, and uh, go from there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll probably leave it at that, but cheers.